Shabbat Shalom, beloved. It is worth thinking not strange, beloved. Thinking not strange. Concerning this fiery trial, which is to try you. As though some strange thing happened to you. Yes, there are fiery trials, beloved. There are people that will stare at you. That will become hateful towards you for no call. They hated Yeshua HaMashiach without cause. Without cause. And although you are in this world, you are not of this world. But we know that Aha Priest, Yeshua Hamashiach, saves to the utmost. And so as we go through this fiery trial, as we watch people's hatred for us, as we watch them watch us, looking and listening for anything that they can attack us with, just like the Pharisees and the Sadducees watched Yeshua HaMashiach, the chief priest, watching and waiting to destroy him. And he was hated without call. There are people, when you go out in the public, they will watch you. They will get transfixed on you and hate you without cause, without a word spoken. There are others that they will watch you because the light of you, that light of the most high, our glorious creator, deserving all praise, honor, and glory, now and forevermore. His spirit is resting on you, beloved. But you see, when you're going through these fiery trials, Rejoice. Yes, yes, yes. This this statement is two-way because we need to be reminded that many of the things that are happening to us are markers of who you belong to. In as much as you are partakers of Yahshua's suffering, yes, yes. They are doing to you what they did to him. The servant is not greater than the master. No, no, no. They listen for the words you speak so that they can find fault or the things you do so that they can accuse you. When his glory is revealed, you will be glad with exceeding joy. Because many of the things you're suffering show the spirit is upon you. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. And we're watching judgment is coming. Yes, beloved. We are in the days of judgment. Yes, yes, yes. The evil that the world has done. The earth is so polluted, she's spewing out the pollutants upon many of the inhabitants. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. And that judgment is starting in the house of Yasharet. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Even when we go through the wilderness. One third are going to make it through. The other, when they pass under that rock, when the Lord pleads with them, they are going to want to go back to the ways of Egypt. Many of them will carry the ways of Egypt with them. Yes, beloved. Yes, just like in the first exodus. They are going to want positions that are not for them. Like Dathan and Abiram. Even like Aaron and Miriam did. Questioning who should be in what position and have what authority. Others are going to carry the ways of the nations they're leaving and cling to them. 
like they did when they got Aaron to make the golden cat. All of them aren't going to make it out. But this fiery trial that you are experiencing, beloved, it's not strength. Mm -mm. You are a partaker of his suffering. Yes, yes, yes. When your family doesn't see it. When the heads of the so-called spiritual order, the chief priests, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and certain people in prominent positions reject you. The truth. You are partaking in his suffering. But this day, this Shabbat, we glorify him because we know from whence it cometh and the marker of whose you are. As these days of judgment are going about, you are marked with the mark of the Most High's, his child. There are some, when that day comes, he won't tell them. Be gone, you worker of iniquity. I knew you not. I knew you not. Because they are like Pharisees. They are hypocrites. But don't think it's strange, this fiery trial to love. Greater works than these shall you do, but in this world you will have persecution. You will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. The world won't tell you that on their religion. You shall open the eyes of the blind. Loose the tongue of the mute. Open the ears of the deaf. Many people who are walking around dead. They are twice dead. There is no spirit of life in them. And if they die in that state, twice dead. You are bringing them to life, literally resurrecting them through the power of Yahuwah's word, through the salvation of Yeshua HaMashiach and the faith of the truth of who he is. Who he is the truth. If they don't know which way to go, he's the way. You walking in death, but he's the life. Yes, beloved, this fiery trial. Those miracles. You see, Paul knew that there are some people when they speak, they speak eloquently. And they think, I'll take the word and run off. And they're, they're doing it for filthy liquid. They're trying to have vain glory. I, I'm the big puffed up, all that. But you see, the truth of the word and the spirit in you will be revealed through the power of his word. Lay your hands on the sick. They shall recover. If it is within the will of Yah, his spirit will come through you. Those who have no life in them, you speak the word of life to them and you are literally raising them from the dead. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Those who cannot see Open their eyes. It is a word, beloved, on this Shabbat, glorifying Yahuwah, our creator, exalted be his name, thanking him in prayer to bring down power and to illuminate us in this world of darkness. Yes, yes, yes. Thanking him for his Holy Spirit, the comforter that leads us into all knowledge. Thanking him for the wisdom that only he can give. Yes, beloved, as the world goes mad, Yahuwah is pouring out his spirit on his beloved. It is word, beloved. Shabbat Shalom.